Uh, before I get started, first, uh, check out this. This is a chat transcript from a League of Legends game uh, that I was uh, playing with uh, Spicy Zymnoptic and a whole bunch of other uh, stuff. He has just started broadcasting on Twitch, uh, twitch.tv slash archaicmage. This was one of his friends who was having way too much fun with a Disney song and League of Legends. Watch me and then go back and watch that and have fun, or just, you know, watch that and ignore what's going on here, miss whatever, and make me hate you. A little bit more. Okay, whatever. I just got back from filming a wedding. It's my job. Um, I edit and film weddings. And it's um, maybe not what I'm going to be doing for the rest of my life, but um, it's, it's still a lot of fun, especially on the shoots. And I really like my boss. He's a great guy to work for. At this particular wedding, when you were filming the exit, when everyone had sparklers and the, the couple were coming down between them, um, while everyone was getting lined up, one of the people told us that we looked fedorable. Something that I had never heard before, and Dave was speechless, my boss, and he was like, that sounds like something Andrew would say, because I tend to pun a lot. And, and he looked at me, and I was like, I'm just mad that I didn't think of it first. I had a year and a half working with him to think about it. Fedorable. But no, it was a kick-ass wedding. It was a combo photo video, and um, I didn't know at first that Dave did photo when I first started working with him. It was something that we're really pushing this year, really doing... Uh, he's... He's amazing. Like, the ace shots tonight, he was painting with light, uh, with the flash and the video lights, and I, I was like, dude, you're an artist. And I'm so glad that we booked him for photo with our wedding in addition to video. Bigler Productions, and I'm not saying this just because I work there. If you're getting married or you know anyone that is, um, check it out. Link's in the description below. Tell them I sent you, and I guarantee nothing. AC. Oticon is this upcoming weekend, so that's kind of exciting. We ended up missing last year's, but um, no, it's 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 gonna be really great. Two years ago, uh, I was wearing a Star Team uniform, not like what is it, Resident Evil, but um, from Toronto Cyberside Abstract Messiah. It's you know a SWAT team style thing, a tactical vest and all that. I had the ring, the box for the ring, in a pocket right up here, and I'm going around all day Friday with it right there, knowing exactly what I'm gonna do. When I'm you know, we're using my best to stash different stuff that we get at the dealer room and artist alley and stuff. And our friend Josh goes to put something and I'm <laughs> not that pocket. Not blah, blah, blah. We go and take pictures because the previous year we'd done that, but we had a lightsaber so it was more light. Without the lightsaber it was kind of dark. Steph was like, it's gonna be dark. I'm like, it'll be fine. It'll be dark. It'll be fine. She knew something was up. And I think she suspected anyway. I'm not good at holding those cards close to my chest apparently, but we go, I take a couple pictures and I very smoothly, I'm, you know, this wasn't the only reason I brought you here. I brought you to open pocket, out box, drop to knee, ring, all in one smooth motion that I had rehearsed. I ask you to marry me. Oh my god, yes! Applause from, I mean, like, it was it was at a fountain behind a, the hotel. It wasn't smack dab in the middle of the convention. <laughs> but So, um, it's kind of neat to be going back to Oticon um, a month and a half before our wedding. Holy crap, you guys, I'm getting married next month. Uh, it's... I'm so excited. It's gonna be... it's gonna be a lot of fun. Okay, so I mentioned Abstract Messiah, and, um, news on that. The Blu-ray is done, which means the DVD is not far behind. There were some issues with color correction and other boring type stuff, but... <sighs> Super tie. I'm so excited that the DVD is next, that's going to be either this upcoming week or, again, because of Oticon, um, it might be uh, next week instead. When I say this upcoming week, I'm recording this Saturday, this past Saturday before you're watching this, because I'm still a little wired from the wedding. <laughs> so yeah, there's that. Um, look forward to news from that and hopefully the next couple months. <sighs> Notes. Yeah, uh, Oticon this year is, uh, again, this upcoming weekend, 9th through 11th. Um, I was originally thinking of wearing an Adam Jensen cons a costume from uh, Deus Ex Human Revolution. Then I had a $600 repair on my car, and I said, well, you know, the Stargate costume I have is pretty good. I did uh, a fan film called Stargate Hades back in 2006. It came out in 2010, so you can, it, it split into two Vimeo videos. Uh, links are in the description below. Links for basically everything I'm talking about. Stargate Hades, um, so depending on the patches I wear, it could be SG-1, so mm, Daniel Jackson-ish. 
um, SG-14, which is a random one that I ran one session of an RPG session for, or um, Dr. Troy Warren from Stargate Hades, um, Royal Canadian Air Force, SG-16. Eh? And Steph will be going as Amethyst Ash. Now, you can't see because uh, the shot's too tight, but she's got costume all over. She gets back tomorrow. She's got three or four days to work on this before we got to head out. She'll do it. I know she will. She's got some stuff that's all nice and done. And, uh, oh, it's tape running down already. Tape. It's coming together really nice. And, uh, I look forward to having some pictures of, uh, her costume especially to share with you, um, next week. Yeah. I can't wait till we get a house. <laughs> so that we have a workshop. And I don't say that because I want the mess out of the living room. It's that I know when we have a dedicated workshop room, we can make a bigger mess. We can have more stuff going on. We, we both want to work on armor, and we kind of don't want to do that in an apartment. So I'll be happy when we get a house. It's going to be more than a year away. We didn't want to try house shopping and buying while well, we also have a wedding to plan and pay for. So I think that's smart and financially responsible. So hopefully next year. Okay, if you don't make it to Otakon, what if you're going to Dragon Con? Dragon Con is at the end of the month, uh, August 30th through September 2nd. Um, well, you can still catch sight of me. Um, again, um, Otakon, catch sight of me as, uh, as a Stargate team with Amethyst Ash in tow. We'll have more people as well, but... Oh. What if you're going to Dragon Con at the end of the month? Um, August uh, 30th through September 2nd. You can still catch sight of me um, because... Uh, Damien Valentine, the producer, director, and so forth of Chronicles of Humanity, will be showing both seasons of Chronicles of Humanity at Dragon Con. I voice acted in both. Obviously, I had a, um, I don't know if it's starring, but certainly supporting role in season two. And I had a, a bit role in season one as well. So, um, screening information also in the description below. That's all I can think of, and that's probably all my tape is going to let me record. So, I probably will spend way too long working on this video. Won't get to breach of contract at all. But we'll see. I look forward to hearing from uh, some of you guys. Uh, maybe some of you will be at Oticon, and that'll be pretty sweet. Otherwise, I will see you next week.